Landscapes with a Soul. Once upon a time, the Big Dare Peninsula was amongst the Isles of the Inner Oslofjord. The name is from Norse, where Bigde means an area with houses and population, and A, island. In former times, this was the only inhabited islet in the inner part of Oslofjord. Later, the land was called Ladogoshen, and the bays Bestumkillen and Frognakillen were named the Ladogosh Fjords. Due to the vertical land motion, explained by the rise of land masses after the lifting of the huge weight of ice sheets during the last glacial period, Bigde eventually became a half island that separated the bays. This landscape is depicted in the map Ladogoshen from 1881 showing how the isle joins the mainland by a narrow piece of land. The isthmus was called Tiskestrande, or Stranda, meaning beach. It is easy to imagine this area as a wetland and soft bottom habitat. One of the proposals to the design competition for the port development of Christiania from 1898 shows a 20 meter wide channel across the isthmus. In this pristine landscape, the engineers connected the two waterscapes by drafting an advantageous shortcut for marine transport. As stated in 1898, quote, A canal at this site will be invaluable for the renewal of the inner part of the Frognakillen Bay. End quote. The Big Deer Channel reappears in several proposals from the next International Ideas competition and in later master plans as well, but it was never realised. The image of Big Day surrounded by water and the innovative historical master plans set in motion an eagerness to explore the western part of Oslo's intertidal. Curiously, I went out to see if it was still likely to make an artificial waterway and reconnect the bays. By overlaying the early visions with the present map that is densely filled with modern urban infrastructure and after several site visits, it became clear that this option is gone too many interests seem to stand in the way. If we look ahead in time, at the thousand years storm surge prediction for 2090, the two bays and their rivers clearly appear as one flooding area. Overlaying the storm surge data with the historical maps and the present day layout reveal an alignment between the original shoreland and today's flood prone landscape. The area calls for shoreline softening,
we have the skills and technology to make human-built environments that can coexist with living systems. Like renaturing the riparian zone with wetlands and blue forests in favour of the riprap along Frogner Stranda and at Kongshaven.